Okay, so I got my ice. I'm gonna make a quick iced coffee. And kill me right now, I only have decaf. <laughs> but I have an energy drink for later in the day, so I think we'll be okay. I mean, we'll see. I've never started a morning with decaf coffee, so say a prayer. And I'm gonna add the Quest Vanilla. I need to get some more protein shakes. I have still been having a hard time getting back to counting protein or like reaching it. So we're gonna start off strong with a shake today. I've got water. So we'll do a quick little outfit of the day. So it's gonna be about 70 degrees today, but it's 40 right now. So I'm gonna grab a jacket before I run out of the house. But I just curled my hair really quickly this morning. This cute little top, some jeans, and some cheetah shoes. <laughs> so that's the full outfit. And then I have the cutest jewelry on today from Ana Luisa. I love working with this company. They're awesome. And how cute are these? I'm obsessed with them. I'll link these for you down below. They are so cute. Go check them out and shop there. I have so many pieces. So this gold ring is from there. Love it. And then I got a new one. So I replaced my other one with this and I am loving it so much. So cute. And this is also one size fits all so you can adjust it to your finger. I love that they do that. I think that that's really cool, especially for us. It's like, if it's going to be an exact size, I'd really like to try it on. I love that they have these adjustable rings. Actually, both of the ones that I have on. So this one too is also adjustable. Obsessed. So I'll link all three of these for you down below. I'm just these earrings, you guys. They're gorgeous. I can't get over it. Hey y'all, I just wanted to give you a quick little close up of these Ana Luisa pieces. I am obsessed with them. If you have been a long time watcher of my channel, you know that I have worked with them all of 2020 and continuing into 2021. And I'm so grateful for that. I love this business. It's a small business. They offset 100% of their carbon emissions that um, is used during the creation of their pieces all the way to the disposal, which I love. This ring starts at $75 and you can use my code Louise Lane at 10 for 10 percent off and then also these joanne earrings are 59 dollars, but they do have pieces starting as low as 39 dollars. there's something for everybody these are pieces that you can style really with anything i wear their stuff every day to work um date night they're super simple to style and they're just something that i love and would wear every single day they're just a grab you know and run out the door type of style they just match everything and i love that so check them out i'll link it for you down below in the description I put on this jacket because the weather says that it's like 40 degrees outside, which to me seems cold, but it's, I mean, there's no way it's 40 degrees. Let's see what my car says. 58. Those maps are, I mean, maps, those weather apps are so wrong all the time. Okay. Why are these? What happened? All right, we're headed out. If we could get in gear over here. I My driveway is like a freaking steep mountain. I can't see. Um, and switching gear on that huge slope, my car like d is not having it ever. Okay, it's Tuesday, happy Tuesday. Um, I'm actually running a little bit late today, but I texted, um, two people at work and they're running late too. <laughs> so not the only one apparently today. I'm hoping I have a solid morning. I'm a little bit worried about this decaf coffee situation. We'll just have to see. Um, and yeah, I packed my lunch. I didn't really meal prep this week. Um, 
we like I wasn't even sure we were gonna be able to find like normal groceries like actual protein because with after the snowstorm or like during it and stuff no like trucks could get in to supply the stores and so they basically ran out of everything or the power went out and they lost everything that was cold so it's just been really hard to find like normal groceries again and I went yesterday on my lunch break just like maybe to find some things and they had a lot so I went ahead and did my grocery shopping yesterday during my lunch break and then I took it home really quick and it was fine but I wasn't I mean I had like a semi plan but I didn't have a, a super set plan so for lunch I bought these um, I bought frozen meatballs um, that had good protein and I think I've had them before and liked them so I bought those um and I have different like carbs and veggies at home I can add. So there's probably just going to be a little bit different every day. Like today I'm having those meatballs with leftover potatoes from last night's dinner and some canned green beans. And we're going to eat the rest of the green beans with tonight's dinner. So that's our current plan. I've got to get out from behind this idiot. I hate the way that they're driving. So anyways, um, Let's see what is new. I have my call with Erin today, so we'll see if she changes anything as far as calories go. Um, yesterday I did pretty good. Um, I wasn't quite at 1900 calories. I was at like 1750 um, and I didn't meet my protein goal. I was about 20 grams under on the protein. So we did okay, it could be better. And that's what we're working on today. So that's why I wanted to start my day with a shake. That's actually the last protein shake that I have. I need to get some more. I also need to get some more cool brew because that decaf isn't doing it for me. I can already tell. <laughs> Maybe it's a mind game, but I need energy. And then I have a call with Erin. I think at one. I need to double check my app and see what time our call is. Um, and I don't have my laptop, so we're just going to have to do like a phone call or a FaceTime or something. Yesterday, Monday, we were really busy. I was um, finally able to get all of the orders out last night that came in during the snowstorm. One, we didn't have internet. Um, and two, we couldn't drive anywhere to drop packages off, even if we had the internet. So, um, we finally got all of the packages out yesterday. Yay! If you ordered from me um, in the last like week, your package went out yesterday. Which, you know, because you got an email. So we got that done. We had to run. Um, we finally all remember that um, comforter that we had. Which, well, okay, I say we dropped it off. We tried to drop it off, and then the place was closed because there are hours on the maps. Of course, maps, again, with the Apple apps just sucking. The maps had the hours wrong. Um, they closed at 6, and we got there at like 6.15. So Morgan, we put it in Morgan's card. He's going to go take it today. Um, so that is exciting. We're going to get that done. And, oh my gosh, you guys, the most exciting thing. I ordered a headboard yesterday. And I'm so excited about it. I'm so excited. Our bedroom before we moved was like my number one priority. That was like the only thing I was focused on. Like that was the only thing I was like designing. I had like a Pinterest board for it. I had this whole plan. And it, I say it didn't really come together. Yeah, it just didn't, once we were in there, it didn't really look the way that I thought it was going to look. And overall, I just feel like it's kind of a bitch match like space. We really haven't done any work in there. We have not one thing hung on the wall. We really only have like the stuff on our dressers and bedding and a rug. And that's it. So... I'm going to focus again on the master bedroom and we're changing the plan and I'm really excited. It's going to be warm and cozy, neutrals, and I'm excited about it. I haven't yet informed Morgan that his skull canvas might have to relocate somewhere else, maybe the guest bedroom, um, but it doesn't match the colors that I'm going with, <laughs> so hopefully he's okay with that. Um, but we picked out a headboard. It's just like a typical cream tufted square, you know, or rectangle headboard, whatever. So we got that and then it'll be here. It says by Saturday, I ordered it off uh, Wayfair. It was like with 
shipping was free, but with taxes, it was like $420, I think. Um, definitely a splurge. I don't just go out and buy $400 items. We've been talking about it for a couple of months, and the time has come. So we bought that. I'm really excited. Um, gets here by Saturday, like I said. Can't even believe it. And that's why I wanted... I hate when you're at that one... <laughs> There's like that one spot before the light where when it turns yellow, you have to like make a split decision. Do you keep going because you could or do you stop because you could? Like both options are there. I stopped. So anyways, um, we're going to get the bedding, that bedding washed at the or cleaned at the dry cleaners. Um, it's this really pretty like cream colored bedding my mom gave us. Um, and we're going to use that until it's a little bit warmer because our bedroom gets really cold. And then in the summer, our bedroom gets really hot. It's like not well insulated, I guess. Um, and then I'm getting a couple pillows for the bed. Right now we have these pink ones, but I'm going to change them to black pillows um, and yeah, we're just doing this theme of like cream, black, just like neutral tones. And I think it's going to be really pretty. It matches our rug. I'm going to switch out the hardware on his dresser and possibly on our nightstands. And we're going to replace the lamps. So yeah. And then I'm going to pick out something to go above the dresser to replace the skull painting. Or we'll pick out something together. So I'm excited. So, in other news, I've been thinking about adding a recipe binder to my online store. I've designed a really cute one. Like, it's freaking so cute. I'm really excited about it. Um, but I'm on the fence because, like, I have a recipe binder and mine is this, like, purple crap binder that I just recycled from, like, college. Like, I didn't need it for a class, so I turned it into a recipe binder. And it's worked great for me for six years. So, I mean, in reality, yeah, you could just do one really cheap at home. Um, oh, but this one's so cute. I honestly, like, I designed it. I could just order one <laughs> and use it for myself. But let me know what you think. Um, I think the price would be, like, $30. Um, because they are, they come like pre-printed, so it's not a cheap situation. Um, it would be, yeah, it would be between like 30 and 35, depending on if I can figure out how to get dividers, because I would love to include dividers in every binder where you could, it comes like automatically sorted, you know, between like breakfasts, um, main dishes, side dishes, appetizers, sweets, drinks, that kind of thing. Um, so you wouldn't have to go out and like buy stuff for that, but I haven't been able to find a place where I can get those like pre-printed. Um, so I don't know, maybe I can contact an Etsy shop that sells them and see if they want to do like a wholesale collab situation and I can buy direct from them or not even a wholesale, but it would be like obviously a really huge order. Um, I wouldn't want to just like bombard them with that. So maybe I can chat with somebody about it. Um, and I would want them to print my design. So that's, that's the other issue. So I don't know. It's a thought. Let me know what you think about a recipe binder. And if it's actually something that is like worth the like effort and money. So there's obviously two options with that. I could either do a pre-order and then only by the amount that people purchase um, or do an order up front and then wait for them to sell, which is what I do with my meal planners. Um, I like order inventory and you order what I currently have in stock. That's why like, that's how I can ship them out so quickly. Um, yeah. So you order it and then I'm able to ship it immediately because it's already at my house. Whereas a pre-order you would order I would close the pre-order, then I would order from the manufacturer, they arrive to me, then I ship them out. So it's just a longer process. It wouldn't change the price at all, um, but it would also be like a you order within this week window, not that, oh, I'm adding these to the site. You could order whenever you're ready type of thing. So, you know, the pre-orders, neither here nor there. I like them, but there's things I don't like about them. 
Um, just like from a customer standpoint, I can see how they're not ideal. So let me know what your thoughts are. It's so cute. I'm going to give you a little sneak preview. I get worried about showing stuff on like previews of things before I've like, oh, like before I've launched because there's somebody on YouTube that just like copies everything and I'm so over it and I refuse to give them any ideas before I've come out with it first. So I'm not going to show you what it looks like, but it is adorable. Y'all are going to love it. Either way, I'm going to order one for myself. <laughs> so you'll get to see it in person at some point. Anyways, I am going to finish driving to work. I'm about to get on the highway now. So I'm going to drive to work and I will chat with y'all later on. I'll show you whatever I eat. I'm going to have this coffee um, and I'm probably just going to have um, one or two of those, um, veg, probably just one of those veggie made muffins. I have the blueberry ones at work in the freezer. Um, I also have some turkey sausage if I get real hungry, but I have 30 grams of protein right here. So we're good on protein for breakfast, I think. And yeah, I'll chat with you later. So I just left work for lunch, um, kind of a change of plans. <laughs> I am meeting my dad at Applebee's. We're going to have lunch together today. Um, there's like, I mean, it's not a fiasco, but tile samples, um, aren't matching what's in the hotels. And so, or the books that we have aren't matching what it looks like in photos. So I'm on like the great tile hunt, trying to figure out which tile. There's two hotels we're trying to differentiate, which is which, um, because it looks like the original like spec was never changed, um, but the tile was clearly changed because something else is in one of them. So anyways, we're trying to figure that out. And our tile room where we used to keep all the samples was recently cleaned out and like everything was thrown out. Not by me, somebody else did that. And it's just like, well, I knew that wasn't a good idea. Honestly, I knew it. But it's okay. We'll figure it out. Um, and I'm going to pick his brain a little bit about which tile place I should visit. Um, basically, I'm going to go try to find a sample of what we think it is. And then go to the hotel and, I mean, basically put it on the floor and see if it's the same thing. <laughs> So that is the plan, but the lunch plan obviously changed. So I love to get the blackened salmon at um, Applebee's. It's high protein, it's delicious. Um, so I might have that, or I might just have chicken, but I don't know. I'm kind of feeling the salmon, honestly. But we're gonna have fish again tonight. We had fish last night. I ate all of the shrimp and half of the chicken um, and about half of the mashed potatoes. Really delicious. Um, and I did have a diet of soda. Um, I actually am just going to go this way. <clears throat> um, so yeah, that was delicious. Oh, and I had a Caesar um, salad. So, could have had more vegetables, definitely. All right, that's it for now. See you later. Okay, y'all, this is dinner. I have five ounces of chicken, a serving of mashed potatoes, some, like, Cajun ranch. No vegetables, but it's fine. I'm going to go add a salad. And some red wine. Hey, y'all, so I am done with the makeup for the day and I'm going to take it off. So I thought I would just show you my like nighttime take off my makeup routine. 
um, these earrings are just like, are you kidding? They're so cute. I can't get over it. I'm just obsessed. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would show you what I do like to get ready for bed at night. So obviously I take off jewelry and I start with one of my erase your face cloths. Love these. I will use one for like three or so. This is the one I've been using. You can see how dirty it is. That's like three days. And I just kind of use it in like chunks. Um, so I use like a fresh, you know, portion every day. And I've been loving this. CeraVe Hydrating Micellar Water. It's a really great um, makeup remover. It's, I don't even know why I shake it because it's not really oily. I think it's oil free. Um, and yeah, I just go right in. I always start with my eyes. And it's very gentle. It doesn't get in your eyes. It doesn't hurt your eyes. It doesn't burn at all. I really like it. I know that this lighting is like not ideal. This is the only place I can set up my camera though. And I'm honestly too lazy to go get the tripod. <laughs> so just take my word for it. But this works really, really well. Let's try to make sure I have that mascara off. Once that's done, get a little bit more and I just rub all over my face. To get my foundation off. And I really like to do this first before I wash my face instead of using a face wash to like get my makeup off. Because I find that it just really, it's like my face wash can't cleanse my skin if there's a bunch of stuff on it, you know? So I really like to use this to get everything off. And then when I wash my face, it's actually cleansing and you know getting any like final bit of dirt off i really like that so it just feels i love this sometimes i just do this portion like an hour after i get home and then i'll like um actually wash my face right before i go to bed but this just feels so good i used to use i kind of switched from makeup wipes to jojoba oil still love the jojoba oil but i really like this better because it's not oily um, and on nights where I just like, can't even be bothered to wash my face, I'll rub this on my face, slap on moisturizer, go to bed. And I still feel really fresh and clean versus the jojoba oil. I feel like you have to wash your face after, even though you don't have to, but for me, it just like is oily. So I want to wash my face. Um, and with this, it's just kind of like, I can be one and done, you know, some nights if I'm just too exhausted. It's like a really good in-between. So, use that. Then I go in with Cetaphil. Um, this is just like their daily facial cleanser. I love it. I also have a bottle in my shower, um, depending on if I wash my face in the shower that night. But I keep that here. And then I also, once I'm done, I add this. CeraVe. Um skin renewing night cream huge fan as you can see it's like almost empty love that stuff so i'm gonna wash my face brush and clean They put it all down my neck. It's a great angle. <laughs> I put it all down my neck. It says not on your eye, but like, I do. I put it on my eyes. Oh, so good. I can't go to bed. 
it's really hard for me to go to bed with makeup on. It's even harder. Like I can't wash my face and go to bed. I have to put on moisturizer. Otherwise I just feel like I'm like pruning. I'm turning into a raisin. And then I pretty much from, wow, gorgeous. From this point, I just create, I create, I make like a nice water, put it on my bedside table, then I get Aquaphor, put it all over my lips. And if I'm feeling extra dry, obviously I have like bad allergies and polyps. I'm blowing my nose a lot. Um, if I'm feeling extra dry, I take the Aquaphor um, not only on my lip, but up here around the edge of my nose. And it feels so nice. And then I don't have any dry skin or anything like that in the morning. So when I put on my makeup, it goes on nice and smooth. It's the best. But yeah, that is my really easy, simple night routine. It's fairly inexpensive. CeraVe, you can find it at any drugstore. It comes, you know, recommended from probably all dermatologists. It's just a very simple formula. I really like it. Um, it's great for the bank account. And I feel like my skin, it looks really good. I'm breaking out a little bit, but as to be expected because, you know, women things. But overall, I feel like it does good things for my skin. I don't feel like I'm somebody that has great skin. Um, and this is really the best that it's ever looked now that I've simplified my routine. And I think it's easier to do every night when you just have a couple of steps. I want to be one of those 20 steps can care people on TikTok, but I just am not that person. It's not sustainable for me. And this has worked like a charm. So that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out Anna Luisa. I'll link for you down below. The jewelry is to die for, and it is so great for everyday wear. I'm a huge fan. I've worked with them for a really long time and I'm very thankful they want to keep working with me. They're a really great company. They're a small business and I love that about them. So check them out down below. I'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all.